Bianca with Leaders in Business Podcast, where CEOs and executives in the digital marketing and social media space share their best advice. It is six question in nine minutes because leaders know what they're talking about. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. I'm Julia Herzberg. I'm the social media manager for Influencer that works underneath Bizarre Voice. It is a reviews platform that generates reviews and content acquisition for brands. Awesome. So what's the best thing about leaving your business? I think that it's ever changing. Um, the social space is never going to have the same day or month. And I think 2020 really proved that. So it keeps you on your toes and it's always interesting. Totally. Um, so I hear, I heard from others that um, it can be challenging to grow your business today with everything that is going on. So what are the biggest challenges you see business leaders facing today? I think, honestly, it's just such a saturated market now. Um, social media marketing, there's not going to be one brand that doesn't have a social platform. So I think the biggest issue for um, businesses going into social media marketing is they really need to know their goals and who they're talking to and how they're going to really resonate with a community because ultimately they're driving community. They're not just driving a business. People will go to their social platforms for a feeling of um, community and a want for their content, not necessarily a want to give their business more, you know, sales, etc. Awesome. So um, what is the best advice that you can give to other business leaders about creating a successful business? Um, I think kind of just like I said, you really need to know who you're talking to and what's going to resonate with them. Um, and also, you need to fill a space where people um, want to go to your content. So like I said before, people aren't going on social media to necessarily make purchases. They're going on social media um, to interact with others and to discover. So a good example I always have is um, Pod, which is an editorial platform that does some news, some trends, etc. I don't subscribe to the cut. I don't um, have like a membership with them. I don't, I'm not on their email list, but I'm a loyal Instagram follower of theirs because I love the news. I love the little bits that they have on their feed. And I always am sending their content to my friends. I'm reposting it, et cetera. And from that, they have dra driven a new user of their community just through Instagram marketing. Yeah. Um, do you think what's the best thing about social media today? I kind of, like I said, I think that it's ever changing. Um, what I like is that I'm not going to be doing probably the same thing that I'm doing now in a year, um, especially with the fact that it is so conversation based. Like I said before, people go for interactions, they go for news, they go to discover things. It's not just a one stop shop. So you really can't go wrong with testing new things out or seeing what resonates with your audience and trying new different um, campaigns with them essentially yeah um you mentioned about um knowing who's going to talk to or who's going to go to so what do you think are your tips or advices for the other business leaders to to go with that um i think kind of like i said before um i think that you should be able to test things out and you shouldn't have just one message um, I think that if you're a new business leader and you're launching social media, you, like I said before, you shouldn't just go in with the goal of sales because then you're not going to be successful. I think that you should go in simply with knowledge of who you want to speak to and see how they want to take in your message to them. This can be through a lot of different ways. Um, for example, with e-commerce, you'll see on a lot of large brands like Glossier or Ole Henriksen, they're not just posting their products. They're posting things that people will want to share, people will laugh at. They're posting pictures of puppies on a Monday morning to make you smile. It's really about resonating with people and kind of tapping into how your target audience will resonate with your brand. So if your brand um, wants to resonate with, you know, like an older crowd, or if they want to resonate with millennials, you're obviously going to have very different communications tactics. You might not post videos or pictures of puppies for, you know, like an older demographic who's mostly on Facebook. That's not going to be your key strategy there. Yeah. So you mentioned about strategy and at the same time content on social media. So if you're going, if we are going to give a chance to, um, let's say, give a one word that is very important in creating content on social media, what is it? Um, pivot. <laughs> Don't think that you're going to get it right the first time because you probably won't. Um, and I think, like I said, 2020 has been a really interesting year to work in social media between COVID 
and a lot of social justice movements in June here in the United States. I've had to change my social strategy twice now. And with this election coming up, I might have to do it again. So you really can't go into a day or a week knowing what you're going to be doing is going to stay the same, which is what I like about it, honestly. All right, that's awesome. So um, what other um, successful business leaders like yourself would you like to acknowledge and should be on the podcast? Um, so my mentor and honestly an icon of mine is Bianca Posterly and I worked with her briefly at Stila. She was a social media um, director there. Before that, she did Tara Banks' social media before social media managers for celebrities were really like a lucrative career and a thing. And she was a Forbes 30 under 30. And now she does social campaigns um, at Twitter. So she is the brain power behind all of the fun campaigns. I feel like Twitter is one of those brands that is just super fun on social. Um, she brainstormed um, the last Super Bowl. They had tweets on confetti. So when the winner, you know, was announced and the game was over and all the confetti spewed out, they were all tweets on like people betting who was going to win or talking about the teams. Additionally, um, the one campaign that they had where they were posting billboards um, and like subway ads of Twitter and like funny tweets, they localized that. So they were actually tapping into users and making sure that their tweets were posted in their hometown. So she was the brain power behind all that. And she's an awesome human being and she's really, really smart. And there's a reason why she's doing what she's doing. Yeah, definitely. She's awesome. I will look them up. So um, for the final fun question, who is the most interesting person to follow on social media and why? So this is going to be really funny and silly, but honestly, I always say that the SpongeBob account on social media is really funny, um, that their social strategy is so interesting because they're supposed to be a children's show. I grew up with SpongeBob, but I, they, I think I stumbled upon them on my Explore one time and I was looking at their feed. I was like, holy crap, these people are honestly marketing geniuses because they're creating content for people who grew up with Spongebob, people who are watching it now. And it's just kind of funny, even if you don't watch the show, some of like the snippets that they have, or they'll do like astrological memes, etc. They really know how to work an audience. And like I said before, in the earlier questions, knowing who you're talking to and what will resonate with them is so important. But with something like an account like Spongebob, you're really talking to anyone from like millennials to Gen Z to Gen X to just parents now to like little kids who might just be on their iPads. So to create a content strategy that resonates with everyone and everyone can probably get a laugh at, I think that that is one of the most interesting um, accounts to follow. Wow, that's interesting. I will look up that account of SpongeBob. So um, <laughs> um, it was a pleasure having you on. So how can people find you? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Yeah, so um, how can people find you? Oh, how, do, how did you find me? Uh, how can people find you? How can people find me? Sorry. <laughs> um, you can find me on LinkedIn, Julia Herzberg, um, or you can follow any of the brands I manage, Influencer, um, Influencer UK, Canada, and Influencer Eats. Well, that's a wrap. This is Bianca with Leaders in Business Podcast. For more insights and ideas, go to our website, leadersinbusinesspodcast.com. Mm -hmm.